is reacting to this night. I hear the word of the Lord saying, the earth is shaking and giving up the elements and the gold and the silver for the next move of God. I hear the word of the Lord saying, behold, I not only do a new thing, but I hear the word of the Lord saying, sign upon The Lord said, you shall go to bed and there will be people at war and you shall wake up and there will be peace. I hear the word of the Lord say, you shall go to bed and there shall be frustration. You shall wake up and the government of America will have turned around and reissued and re-signed a sign of law. I hear the word of the Lord saying, it's a season of shifting and a season of change and a season of the miraculous. And no that it is not for the destruction, but it is for a sign. When I hear the word of the Lord saying, daughter, we have a new covenant now, and you must go to the nation. You my, must my, my. to the nation. Yes. We have a fresh covenant now. I hear the word of the Lord saying, uh, you have a new dream life now, for I will deal with you in the night season, and I will speak to you in the night season. I hear the word of the Lord saying, it will be the demonstration, and you shall see the angels around your house and around you and, and on the wall. Because I hear the word of the Lord say, mm, this is the season I'm going to confirm uh, yeah, you yeah, yeah. to you. This is the season for truly you have not even seen your day yet. But I hear the word of the Lord say, this day that starts next year, that will be your day. I hear the word of the Lord saying, get ready for phenomenal uh, uh, signs in nature to begin to occur. Uh, the earth quivering and the trees rocking and whirlwinds captured on film in the atmosphere. For I hear the word of the Lord say, there is a setting down and a retiring of one man. But there is the stepping forward and the electing of another man. For I hear the word of the Lord saying, your whole life has been to deposit the wisdom in you that is in you now. To be able to be a leader of the nations. I hear the word of the Lord saying, get ready for Africa to call you, Canada, Australia, South America. And what they'll say is, will you come? and talk peace to us. Will you be a peace banker? Will you be an ambassador? We're arguing, we can't agree, we're fussing and fighting, but we'll listen to you. And you shall go as a godly spokesperson and as an ambassador. And you shall cause nations and cities and tribes to come into peace that have been fighting for seven generations. I hear the word of the Lord saying you shall cause a monetary system overseas to be changed because it has been cursed for generations. I hear the word of the Lord saying, behold, man and woman of God, I honor you for what you have already done. I honor you. But I hear the word of the Lord saying, your great day is upon you now. Get ready for signs in the atmosphere. Get ready to read on the front pages of the newspaper. Get ready for the people to shake their heads out. I never thought I'd read that. I never thought I'd see that. God said, this is a sign. This is a covenant between me and you, says the Lord, that it is me. And not only will I uphold you, but I will not allow one of your words to fall to the ground. Thus says the Lord. West Coast, the southern states is already yours. The keys are yours, says the Lord. But there should be great favor, even real estate opportunities, even in the East Coast. I want to say specifically, even in the New York region, said the Lord. And there should be great favor upon even your children, said the Lord. Thinking how strange that one of your children is named Jasmine, which is an expensive oil, the most expensive oil in the world. And the mantle that's on the mother will fall upon the daughter, said the Lord. I give you praise and honor. There have been discussion about some things within you and your daughter. And the Lord said, the mantle that's on her is going to be, that's going to be an exchange of a double portion, say the spirit of grace upon your life. I see this not-for-profit organization uh, that's going to be explosive throughout the nation, say the Lord. And I hear the word Trinidad Tobago will be very favorable for the both of you, say the Lord. It will be almost like sex 
second home. That's great honor, that's great worth, that's great prestige is coming from the island, say the Lord. Uh, such grace and such favor is born your life for this season. I hear to say the Lord, said the middle girl, I want to say the youngest daughter, said the Lord. The mantle of a father shall rest upon her, said the spirit of grace upon your life, said the Lord. And what God has placed upon you from generation to generation shall fall upon your children. And the spirit of your son, the Lord said, it she shall be a carrier of you both, said the Lord. God's grace is upon your life, says the spirit of grace. I see the word of the Lord that for you, man of God, there's great shifting even among the full gospel movement. The Lord said, you, there's, a, there's another assignment that he's going to add to you shall establish policies and procedures. I see you as a modern day Moses going to subscribe and going to even amend some things that need to be written even in the bylaws because God says, your name is great in the land, but your name shall be greater than the Lord. Your name shall not only be great in the nations of the United States, but it shall be known across the world. And they shall call you father. They shall call you grandfather. They shall call you the man of the hour. The